Hello, today I'll show you how to create a manifest with associated bill of ladens using the TurboRoco software. Okay, so let's get started. To open up the shipping module, you click on the button to the left. And then once that is open, you would then click on Add Manifest to add a new manifest. I'll prompt you, yes, you want to add a new manifest. At this point, the manifest screen will open. You can then select the type of manifest, such as import, export, or transit. Let's say we selected import. At this point, you can fill in the description of the manifest. This is an overall descrip description of the shipment. Once that is done, you will then fill in information such as the principal, the agent, uh, the carrier. Uh, when you pull the drop down to select uh, any piece of information. Um, if it's not in the list, you can use the edit list option to open up the appropriate table and add the new record that you want to use. And then we can fill in things like the uh, place of receipt. Um, we can set, select the load date, the ship date, arrival date and time and input the voyage number and rotation number. Once you're happy, you can then click the Save button to save the manifest header and then we click View Edit Bill of Laden to start inputting the Bill of Laden information. So click New this will create a, a new uh, bill of laden. Notice it generates a bill of laden number for you, so which, which you can keep or you can replace it with your own bill of laden number. Input a description of the, of the bill of laden. This is a description of the goods that is on this particular bill of laden. You select your shipper, consignee, notify party. Again, if your record that you want to use is not in the list, you can uh, click on the edit list option to add. When you're done with the bill of laden header, you click save um, and it will save the head information. Uh, before that, let's add some charge information. So you can add the total charges payable, total freight in this case payable and what was prepaid. Um, this system also gives you the option to break out the freight. So you can um, add up to six uh, different charges that make up, makes up the overall freight. Okay, when you're done, you click save and that's the bill of laden header now we will add the line item that is on the bill of laden so we click view edit item and then to add the first item we click new uh, system just uh, as in other parts of the software it allows you to store items uh, that you typically uh, ship so we can select the items from uh, from a list the next time you ship those items fill in the other pieces of information that makes up the bill of laden item then we close, we're back to the bill of laden header screen and we can add a second bill of laden from here. So we'll click new and add the second bill of laden and we basically repeat the steps. So this time, let's say it's uh, food we're adding, you select your shipper, select your consignee. And we're just selecting the same ship and consignee but they can be different shippers and uh, consignees. Fill in your freight payable. Uh, once you're done, uh, you can uh, add the line item for this uh, bill of laden. Let's say it's mangoes that is being shipped. You put in the package quantity. Um, you can change the package type. So let's say we wanted to use crate. And then you put in the gross weight and the volume information. Sweet net weight volume information. Once that is done, you then click save to save the line item. Uh, close, uh, you back to the bill of laden header. Notice the totals appear at the bottom. Uh, we can then click close to close the bill of laden header and then close again. We'll close the manifest header. Now we're back to the main listing screen. The manifest we just added is highlighted. Clicking the update BOL button will then update all the BOLs with any information that is on the manifest header and the update totals will update all the totals. Notice once the update totals is clicked, you will see the totals uh, across all the BOLs that were added. 
and its uh, total bill of lading, packaging information, and so on. And then we can print the various reports. For instance, we can print the manifest report. It will show you um, all the bill of ladings on a particular manifest. And then uh, we can verify the totals here as well. Um, there's also the bill of laden report. So you can select the bill of laden reports and you can preview it and it'll show you the individual bill of ladens on the manifest. Okay. All these reports can be exported to PDF just by uh, clicking the second button to the left there that will allow you to export. Now, once you're done, you cancel out of this screen and you're back to the main listing screen. At this point, you're ready to submit the document to customs, submit your manifest. You click Submit Manifest and then once the screen opens up, click Submit again. Yes, you want to start your submission. It then opens up um, the results screen once everything is fine. So this is the, the, the file, whether it's an XML file or any other file that you will be submitting to your local uh, customs authority. Okay, once you're done, you click close. Yes, you want to close that shipment. Notice the status here changes to TR, which indicates to yourself or any other team member that that shipment has already been submitted to your local authority. And then we close out, and that's the end of the manifest. Thank you for watching and feel free to contact us using the information below.